Hey, this is Eric from practicalservicedesign.com and I'm here to take you through a little demonstration of our mural practical service blueprint template. If you don't have our guide already, go to practicalservicedesign.com slash the dash guide and download it and be sure to go to mural.co and sign up for an account. There's a 30 day free trial so you can get going right away and follow along with the video. Get started with the template. Go to our website, practicalservicedesign.com slash mural dash template. Click get started from template. It'll pop open a new tab. Be able to see the template. Go up to the top right corner. Click create mural from template. If you're logged in, it'll have you create one in a room of your own. And then it will pop you over into the new template right into your account. You can also find the example template and the blank template in your mural main menu under the templates and examples. The demo template starts out with some instructional information and example content spread throughout. Up in the top, there are resource links to the guide, to our article about the difference between a journey map and a service blueprint, as well as links to some starter slides and a link to join the community. The information in this part of the template is meant to be removed and deleted once you have read it, or you can use the blank example, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, to start fresh without having to delete this copy of the info. Along the bottom of this template is the after blueprinting process steps for collecting, clustering, prioritizing, and theming the data that you get out of the blueprint. This is the synthesis phase, which can be done in this mural, or you can start it in a mural of its own so you have more room to drag things around and add more information. So this is what the blank template looks like. When you open it up, you can come in here and name your blueprinting scenario. So we'll do this as the new PST community. New PST community member sign up and a description. Very simple. Adding steps is easy. I've already got one loaded here that you can use to start typing in. Step one, info. Once you have a step here, you can easily just hold down Option or Alt to duplicate it straight from one to the other. You can select any of the boxes and hit Command D to duplicate it right away. When you select the box and hit enter, it becomes able to be typed in. So this would be step two, info, hit command D again, step three. That's how you can easily duplicate things um, across horizontally. If you want to drag something over from the legend, you just click on it and hold down alt or option and drag it over and Mural will kind of align it to a grid for you, and you can keep on bringing them over from the legend. Be careful not to just click and drag from the legend without holding Option or Alt, because it will just take it out, and you will have to go and put it back. You can just keep on dragging from the legend the various types of elements as you build across the blueprint, typing in each one, you know, touch point. Type in each one as you go, dragging them over, clicking, adding them in. Um, as you and your teams fill this out, they'll start to get out of order and people will be dragging them just as they think. So as you go, you can um, rearrange them and kind of make them fit the template order or you can do it later or you can not do it at all, but keeping them in the same order from the top down helps make the heat map effect a little more apparent. So once you get a bunch of columns filled out, you can go in and add the phase descriptor, which is the orange bar down here. I'm gonna select it and again, hold down Alt or Option to drag it up above the columns, zoom in on it. Here is where you can say what the phase is. So name of this phase and have it be as long or short as it needs to be so we'll say that one is the first two steps, and then we'll add another one. That is the next three. Drag it out. 
Now here we've got what is basically a five-step blueprint. Um, it's very quick, very easy to make. Since you can have multiple people dragging in things all at the same time, you can really start to collaborate and put things up um, together as people make comments and ask questions. You can just keep moving, keep dragging, keep typing. It's a lot easier if you have someone be a scribe and do this while others are talking, but feel free to have everyone jump in and do it together. Here you see a real blueprint that maps out how someone joins the service design community Slack. I've gone through and added in real steps, screenshots of the touch points, details throughout that can kind of show you what a blueprint looks like when it's finished. This example will be available for you to look at at the end of the video so you can get an idea of what one looks like with actual information that's populated throughout. So there it is. Be sure to go download the guide and other resources. Join the Slack community so you can talk to other people in the blueprinting channel about what you're doing. And go, of course, sign up for Mural so that you can follow along and use this cool tool to be able to do it uh, with your team members and be able to collaborate all at once in the same space.